Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Yummy Candy 704. I am Yolanda Maria. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today is going to be a really really quick video about how I got these waves. Um, I recently purchased um, a deep waver from a bedhead and it's called a wave we go. So I'm not sure if it's going to focus in at all but it is from bedhead and um, I just wanted to show it. I love it that it has four different settings. So this is the lowest setting, which is what I used to um, get these waves. But it actually has four settings. As you can see, the middle, it goes up and another setting and it goes up one more time. So it has four different um, heights and the lower it is, the deeper the curl is. So actually you would think that going up would make it deeper, but no, it makes it looser. So it has four different settings. So I absolutely love it. I'm gonna go ahead and film. I did film how I got these curls now. I'm sorry, these waves. Now, what you're looking at today on this video, these are actually two days old. So I did not film this portion or my ending um, on the same day I did the actual um, demonstration or the actual waves. This side may be a little bit frizzy because when I initially got done just out of habit, I have not used a deep waver probably since the late 90s, early 2000s when I was working in a hair salon. So I had not had one of these in a long time. So. I went ahead and um, I went ahead and did these curls here, but just out of habit, I grabbed a comb and just I'm so used to combing out and brushing out curls or wine curls or barrel curls that I just instantly started combing these out and then I realized oh my god I should have finger finger pulled them apart um, because they it really became frizzy on the ends. Now this hair, so let's let's talk about that too. This hair is not from my collection. This is not, I repeat, this hair is not from my collection at all. What this hair is, is some hair that we were testing. So if you've been watching my channel this whole year, you know that I have been testing or I was testing hair um, January, February, and then we launched in March. So this was some testing hair. This is some raw Indian hair. And um, I did not like how it came. So I did not go with this supplier. However, you know, we have so much hair that we did not use during the testing pro um, process that, you know, I'm like, hey, you know, if I can make it work, I'm gonna try to make it work and keep it for myself. So um, the reason I did not go with this particular supplier is because the ends were so raggedy and dry. I mean, there was nothing that was gonna bring those. I mean, I use silicone mix, I use everything. There was no way that I was gonna be selling this hair to someone. So what I did was cut off about two inches or inch and a half to two inches of hair to get rid of those really raggedy ends. And then I colored it, um, a, I think it was called Brown Black by Revlon or yeah, Brown Black by Revlon. So I just made sure all the bundles matched and I just paired it with a uh, closure from like AliExpress. I have so much old hair, um, I had an extra closure in a bag or whatnot. So it ended up matching pretty perfectly with it. So um, if I was gonna be practicing using a new tool that I just got, I did not wanna do it on my own personal units. I wanted to test it out on some hair that is not mine or I wouldn't be uh, selling. So I hope you like it. And if you're interested in seeing how I got these particular waves and crimps, keep on watching. So I found this deep waver on Amazon. It is the Big Head Away We Go. The reason that I went ahead and picked this one out of many on Amazon is because it had the four different settings. So it had the four ways that you can do different styles and it goes up to 400 degrees. I use the Argon Oil from One and Only, and I also use the Nairobi Foam uh, Wrap Setting Lotion to kind of tame this hair. This is the Indian, a raw Indian wavy hair, so I did have to blow dry it a little bit. 
um, just to get those waves out but it is super thick again this is not my collection this was some extra hair or some hair from testing that we ended up not selecting so I did use the Tresemme um, keratin smooth heat protectant and right now what I'm doing is just parting out the hair in small sections if you make the sections too thick it will not um, wave as as pretty as um, a thinner amount but you do want a good portion but not too much I am combing out this hair really good only because again it is very thick and frizzy you guys know how raw hair is but this particular hair the reason we didn't pick it is because it was very 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 dry what I'm doing is just taking the barrel down the shaft of the hair and just laying the barrel down into the last wave I'm not gonna lie guys this really took a very long time it took about an hour um, to curl all of this hair or basically wave all of this hair um, an hour to an hour in 15 minutes that is <laughs> hella long the ends were definitely frizzy on this hair although I cut off about an inch and a half to two inches of this hair this hair was still very very dry so the actual supplier of this hair definitely got a word from me sending out this raggedy hair and calling it raw Indian hair <laughs> So because it takes so long to go down one shaft, I mean, this is very repetitive. So I am going to go ahead and really fast forward through the rest of the part of me deep waving the hair.
So right now I'm just finishing up the last section um, of the second section. And this again, this video has nothing to do with the hair. It is strictly about the actual deep waver that I found on Amazon and I will leave the link below. This is not a sponsored video. Bedhead did not contact me. I was just online searching for a deep waver. It still, it just came out so pretty. I love it. And this is the final results. Even though the hair was very in bad condition, I think I did a pretty good job trying to revamp it. And here I am showing you the actual lace closure. I found an old lace closure from AliExpress, probably was like $50, but it was super light. I mean, very light for my skin tone. So I went ahead and tinted to lace with my own homemade lace tint. So that is the end of the video. Thank you again so much for so watching. If you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And on my, if you're interested in my collection, make sure you go to yummycandycollection.com and we are on Instagram. Definitely follow us on Instagram. We give so much information on the um, IGTV do more videos over there, more content over there. So please make sure you are following us on Instagram at Yummy Candy Collection. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel. If you watched the video this far, you probably wanna go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a good one.